Hello and welcome to this week's Astralo News. We are going to be covering right now a really cool time period. And this news is going to take you from the 25th of June all the way up to the 1st of July. So we have a neat event going on on the 29th, which is our new moon period. We are going to be experiencing what's called a micro moon. A micro moon is when it is the furthest from Earth. So it's going to look super small in the sky if you can even see it, because it will most likely make it so the skies are extremely dark. And that's an incredible thing because it's going to be awesome to view some of the awesome celestial bodies out. Not only that, when we do not have that strong of an influence from the moon, it means our emotions are going to be calmer. So that's what I want you to pay the most close attention to as we move into this micro moon period on the 29th. This is also in 11 days. So if you were to add up the two in the nine, you're going to get 11. Those of you who know everything there is to know about numerology and the importance of the algorithm when it comes to our energy field, you're well aware that an 11 day is about coming together. An 11 day is about creativity. An 11 day is about bringing ideas in bringing this intuitive energy into light. So this new moon energy is going to give us some space with our emotions because it's going to be further away. And that moon is such a strong pillar of emotion. And it's going to allow us to kind of feel peaceful inside, to maybe be able to think through some things that we've been challenged by and really start to troubleshoot what our next steps might be or how we can heal certain things. So we get a little break from our emotions. Now, many of you are also in the Astralo class, so you know a lot more about this moon in depth. However, for those of you out there in the public, I just wanna give you guys a heads up to harness this day. It's gonna be super beautiful and really, really amazing to move through. Now, to handle the question that came in this week was a rather intense question. I received the question from Bree from New York. Why is it important that we study the celestial energy and what importance does astrology have in our everyday life? I love this question because it is something that um, so many should really know, but we don't tackle very often. So your body on a science standpoint is made of stars. Literally every atom and every molecule in your entire body was made from the stars. So just like your genetic code follows your ancestry line, and there are certain things in your genes that are going to also be present from your ancestors before you, every atom and cell in our body vibrates in unison with the frequency of the celestial stars. The ancestors of our body is literally the stars. So keeping an eye out and having an awareness of what frequency they're going to send through the ether. And by ether, I mean the space in between us and something else. It's been scientifically proven this isn't empty space between you and me, between me and the wall in the room. There is ether, which is a frequency where energy can travel through. So between us and the ancestors of everything that's present in our body is ether. So there are signals sent down that many of our ancestors already knew and were well aware of would change or influence human behavior, animal behavior, and just the planet's behavior in general. So having a heads up on those things is exactly what we talk about every week here on the Astrology News, but also those of you who want a more in-depth understanding of it, it's what we talk about in our Astralo Life community, and it's what's in every Astralo class each month, and there's so much that you can do to really be open to what your ancestor energy is trying to tell you. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any more questions. Hit me up in the notes and don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and please share this video so we can grow this channel and this knowledge to its fullest extent because we're all igniting in some way. It's amazing to have you on my journey. Thank you guys so much. My name is Jillian Griggs and I'll see you next week.